Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x. I'm um, given the equation 4 times log base 3 of 2 minus 2 times log base 3 of x equals 1. And then you look at these and say, oh my god, there's so many logs and I x's and I uh, just, what am I going to do? Well, the reason why we practice condensing um, is to condense down to one single logarithm. And then that's exactly the approach that we want to take with this. Whenever, you know, when we have multiple x's, um, we always want to combine them to one x to solve for, right? unless we can't combine them. But these two we can combine by using our properties of logarithm for condensing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take each number that I'm multiplying in front, and I'm going to, and I'm going to rewrite those as my exponents. So now I have log base 3 of 2 to the fourth minus log base 3 of x squared equals 1. Okay. Now I see that I have a logarithm subtracted by another logarithm, and they have the same base. So since they have the same base, I can rewrite this as the quotient of those terms within one logarithm. I can also evaluate 2 to the fourth power, which would be 16. So therefore, I have log base 3 of 16 over x squared is equal to 1. Now, what I can do to get rid of my logarithm, I can rewrite this in exponential form. Remember, going from exponential form to logarithmic form, or I'm sorry, logarithmic form to exponential form, oh, what am I doing? is simply b to the y equals x. So in this case, all I'm simply going to do is rewrite this as 3 to the 1 equals 16 over x squared. Now, to solve for x, I've got to get off the bottom, right? So I'll multiply by an x squared on both sides. Therefore, I'm left with 3x squared equals 16. Now, divide by 3. I have x squared equals 16 over 3. Take the square root, take the square root, and I have x equals plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4 divided by square root of 3. And I could rationalize the denominator um, if you like. So therefore, it's plus or minus um, 4 square root of 3 over, I'm sorry, yeah, 4 square root of 3 over 3. OK, so that is our solution. Right now, we have two solutions for this case, right? So what we want to be able to do is look at that and say, all right, well, the typical logarithmic graph is not like a quadratic. It only crosses the x-intercept one time. So which one of these um, could be our extraneous solutions? And usually, it's our negative um, are the extraneous solutions, but not always. So I go ahead and look at my equation. And I notice that I cannot take the logarithm of a negative value, right? And I notice if I have the negative answer and I plug that in for x, then that's good. I cannot compute that logarithm. So therefore, I, the negative is going to be my extraneous solution. I only have one positive solution. And my one solution is x is equal to positive 4 squared of 3 over 3. Thanks.